Welcome to Ukraine Today. I'm William Rusuluhub. Join me now to discuss the situation surrounding the scandalous General Prosecution Office of Ukraine is the former Deputy General Prosecutor, Mr. Vitaly Kosko. Mr. Kosko, welcome to Ukraine Today. Hello, thank you. So, Mr. Kosko, you already the third time on uh, our program, and uh, we've talked to you in the capacity as the uh, Deputy General Prosecutor uh, when you were trying to combat corruption within the General Prosecution's Office. And now, just recently, the General Prosecution's Office opened a criminal investigation into you. So, what is happening? First of all, it's not uh, the first criminal proceedings, and uh, it's not uh, something that emerged recently. Uh, from July, then they initiated the case of uh, so-called Diamond Prosecutors, July last year. Uh, the former team of the Prosecutor General's Office who are opposing the reforms, they initiated several criminal proceedings against me, Sakvaralidze, and other prosecutors and investigators. And this is only one of the criminal proceedings. They are just pushed this uh, situation after my resignation because you know that uh, in February this year I decided to resign and explain to the society the reasons for this resignation. Uh, as, as far as you know, the reasons there are uh, lack of fight with corruption in the prosecutor's uh, general's office and lack of reforms. Immediately after that, general prosecutor's office reacted and initiated or uh, intensified criminal prosecution against me. So uh, they have what they have. Now you know that uh, uh, they are violating the law during every step of their activity. You know all this um, information in the media and you can follow the events uh, very well. But um, is, this, is there a legal ground, is the legal background in the criminal case which is being mounted against you or is this a purely political uh, maneuvering? Both. It's purely political and it's obvious and uh, there are no factual circumstances for these criminal proceedings because the facts they are trying to, um, uh, to tell the so public. What, what are they trying to accuse you of? They are trying to accuse me that I uh, um, was provided with the apartment by the Prosecutor General's office uh, illegally. But in fact, this was the General Prosecutor's office who provided me th th this apartment in 2008, just imagine, eight years ago. And at the moment, all the decisions uh, to provide me with this apartment are lawful. So uh, they are not nullified, there are no court decisions uh, about uh, some violations. This is, uh, at the moment, absolutely lawful. But they are trying to convince the society that uh, it was illegal. Let's uh, try to, to fight and uh, I'm ready to convince the society and everybody, law enforcement, uh, judges, that it is not true. Mr. Kisko, there were reports in the media that um, the, the people who are now investigating you are the very same people you were investigating when you were trying to fight the corruption within the general prosecutor's office. Is, is that true? And if so, how did it happen? In fact, this is true. So this is the people who they are under the, the investigation by a so-called general inspection. It was created by me and David Sakvaralidze and our investigators and prosecutors, they investigated criminal cases against these people from, let's say, old team, Shonka team, who, who were corrupt. And uh, now they are trying to react. They are trying to find against this. Uh, initiating criminal proceedings against our prosecutors, investigators, me and Sakvaralidze. You and Mr. Sakvaralidze were regarded as one of the most reformist uh, uh, officials in the General Prosecution's office. Now both of you are gone. Uh, you resigned, Mr. Sakvaralidze was uh, fired, and uh, you are now being uh, persecuted by the very same agency you worked for. In your opinion, what the General Prosecution Office is trying to, what kind of message they're trying to deliver? It are is, they trying to punish you or this is a message to anyone else who will dare both, to fight them? Both. These uh, criminal proceedings, they, are, um, they have two aims. First, uh, to uh, demonstrate the revenge uh, for cases initiated by us and the second, to give a message to other prosecutors, but by the way, not only to the prosecutors, to the police officers, to judges, that every uh, attempt to change the system inherently, essentially, will be punished. So, uh, basically, are, basically, don't mess with us. 
Yes, there are a lot of honest prosecutors in Ukraine. There are a lot of people who are there just waiting for the change of the system. And at the moment, they receive this message that this is not the time. This is not the right time. They still need to wait. And nobody knows for how long they need to wait. It means that the system remains the same. And at the moment, the people who are in power in the general prosecutors are the same people who they are working during Tronka times, the previous prosecutor general. Uh, the prosecutor who was with, uh, during the times of Yanukovych. Yes, that's true. And he, this is the guy who is in the international wanted list, but the people from his team are now in charge of the prosecutor general's office. This is uh, absolutely ridiculous situation. And they are trying to uh, frighten other prosecutors and to explain this by these criminal proceedings, by these criminal prosecutions, that uh, every attempt to change the system will be punished. This is the, the purpose of this criminal procedure. In your opinion, why is this happening? Why the, uh, the general prosecution's office is not, I wouldn't say willing to change, but why the attempt to, to change the general prosecution's office uh, stop at the very beginning? This is the problem of the prosecution service in Ukraine from Soviet times. Uh, in, in fact, this is very Soviet structure. Uh, and uh, in Ukraine, this is a, a kind of mixture of uh, Soviet-type high hierarchical prosecution service and uh, corruption. It's it's, it's very uh, dangerous mixture, and uh, it means that the system is uh, defending uh, itself from inside, and the system itself is very comfortable for the politicians because it is hierarchical. It is uh, under control of the politicians, and it is very easy to use this agency for some political purposes. That is why uh, the interests of the corruption uh, prosecution service and uh, politicians in power are very often similar. This is why uh, it, it's really hard to change something in this system. There is, there is a need for real political will to change uh, the prosecution service in Ukraine. So, but in order to do that, the political will has to come from the very top, Absolutely. from the president himself. That, that's true. That's true. So the president of Ukraine does not want to change the general prosecution system. This is your conclusion, but um, this is what would you have. Would you agree with that? Yes. And why do you think he's not willing to do this? Again, because this is very comfortable to have uh, this system of prosecution service. It's under control and it can follow any instructions so if it's necessary for some political uh, aims. So just recently, Mr. Kisko, um, there was a dis dismissal of the general prosecutor, Mr. Shokin, the, and, and this process, it lasted for months. There was a lot of pressure on, on Ukraine, both uh, on, 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 on the government, both from Ukraine's Western partners and from uh, Ukraine's civil society. And finally, following these months of pressure, the general prosecutor um, has resigned. Do you have faith that the new general prosecutor will be anyhow different? Uh, first of all, I'd like to comment the situation with this resignation, which lasted for two months and a half. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's a really funny story for me. If, you know that Ukrainian society and uh, foreign donors, they are really angry with the situation in the general prosecutor's office. And everybody knows, everybody knew about that at the moment. Uh, that's, that is why I'm still trying to answer the question why this resignation uh, lasted for this long period. Why? What, what was the reason for this? Um, I, I cannot give the answer. Uh, the, the question about the new prosecutor general, unfortunately, I don't think that, the, uh, that any person who will be nominated for the prosecutor general can change the situation if there will be no political will to change the system of the prosecution service. Because um, uh, the head of the office will never change the office without this political will. And uh, the situation is much more complicated than it looks at the moment. Uh, because in Ukraine, in three days, the main responsibilities uh, in the prosecutor general's office will be in the hands of self-government bodies. These self-government bodies should be formed in three days. And uh, people from Shonka team are now working to nominate the right people in these self-government bodies. And even if we have more or less reliable prosecutor general, he or she will never change the situation drastically without help of self-governance bodies. 
if they have this self-governance bodies formed by corrupted prosecutors without any democracy just nominated and voted like during Soviet times the new prosecutor general will not change the system they need to change this and they need to have political will uh, to reform the prosecution general office in accordance with European standards. So basically what you were saying with these with the uh, creation of these self-government bodies uh, the prosecution system is now trying to build a mechanism Absolutely. which will prevent even to control the new prosecutor general because of the powers of these self-governance bodies. So it's again uh, the system is fighting. The system itself is defending. Yeah, it's resisting with, from within. So do you, do you think, do you fear that the new general prosecution, even if, even if this is the right person, will not have enough powers to change that? Uh, I think that it will be much harder for any new prosecutor general. Uh, he or she should know the, the problem and uh, try to change it, first of all, from a legislative point of view. So they need to, to, uh, to change first legislation to avoid this but problem. But for that, you need the support of the parliament. Yes. And then organize the right voting for the self-governance. First, to clear the office, to, to, to clean the, the prosecutors, and then to organize the, the right democracy uh, in the process of uh, creation of the self-governance self bodies. Who do you think would be the best candidate for the position of the general prosecutor? If you uh, want to know my opinion, I would say that it would be Mr. Vitvitsky from the United States. You know, uh, Bogdan Vitvitsky, who was working in the United States as a prosecutor, who knows Ukrainian uh, language, and uh, who is, in my view, would be the best uh, nominee for the uh, prosecutor general in Ukraine. Well, what kind of qualities does that person need to have and skills? Independence and to really courage to change the system. And, but the independence is the first uh, quality in my view. What about support from the president and the parliament? Because as you correctly said, uh, they need to adopt legislative changes. If a uh, new prosecutor general would follow the instructions from the members of parliament or from the president, he or she will never change the system. They need to, to change the situation. Prosecutor general should be absolutely independent. It's not the part of the executive in Ukraine. It's not uh, the body uh, under control. It should not the body under control of the president or uh, the members of parliament. It should be absolutely independent. In this situation, if, if this prosecutor general would have guarantees of independence, he or she will change the system. If not, we will wait for this for years, unfortunately. Well, it looks like some very dire situation there. Mr. Kasko, many thanks for finding the time to come and uh, talk to us and share your thoughts on the matter. We were discussing the situation with the General Prosecution's Office and the attempts to change the system with the former Deputy General Prosecutor of Ukraine, Mr. Vitaly Kasko. I'm Vladimir Solhub. Thank you for watching Ukraine Today.